Woods, Erie Canal Harbor, acquired all the Outer Harbor property from Gallagher Beach all the way to Wilkinson, well, except for terminal buildings and freezer queen um, last year. Um, part of that property, Gallagher Beach and the arena, through an agreement we have with State Parks, which is approved by this board, State Parks operates and maintains that area. Um, Parks is doing some improvements on the green space. That's the area that's actually between the Boat Harbor and Gallagher Beach. And they need a, a NIMO needs a utility easement to support those improvements. Since we're the landowner, uh, we actually have to grant the easement. Um, it's laid out in the board materials. It's basically they're running conduit underground, um, you know, that along kind of close to the marina edge, but that'll be in the green space. So we're asking that the board approve the easement today. Any questions from director? I just have a question of what uh, power um, levels will this easement uh, carry? I have no idea. I, I can find out from parks, but they, they've designed it. They're running it. We're not involved in it, in the uh, improvements. Oh, uh, it really doesn't matter if you replace it with something different if it wasn't enough or it was too much. But I'm, yeah. just, I'm just curious. Well, it, it'll be feeding stage, so it should be significant. Yeah, okay. Pretty significant. Yeah, I, I don't know that. I can I just want to, I'm tr just trying to figure out if it's going to be enough if we do other development along out there. Will they have it, enough power? Well, I, 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 I don't know what development's going to go on on that property, and probably not much. Mm -hmm. um, this is the, the easement we're talking about is from the street to support their improvements. Okay. And I doubt there's going to be any significant development more on that green space, which is you know a confined waste disposal from the. Army Corps of Engineers. So I doubt there's going to be anything much more on, on that property moving forward. Okay. Any other questions or comments from the directors? Any questions or comments from the public? Hearing none, hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to approve. I move. Moved and seconded. seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Uh, Tom, the President's report. Um, I said Canal Side, what a great success. Uh, we are absolutely thrilled. Uh, 61, almost 61,000 skaters. And uh, that does not include the visitors that uh, came with the skaters and the people that walked through. So I can say nothing but great things about, about the success, at, at, at our winter success and taking elevating Canal Side into now a uh, four season destination. Um, we closed the ice down on uh, March 17th and now we're in a transition. And the transition is an opportunity for us, gives us a chance to clean everything up and get it ready for the next season. So I've, I've uh, learned to adapt. To, I, I always like action all the time, but it's really good to have a transition. We've got to clean the site, power wash. We've got to get the ice off of there, get the dasher boards down, and uh, get ready to fill the canals up with water. And then we're looking to open the water back up somewhere around May. Uh, early May, and then we go into our next season with great things to come in terms of the historically aligned canal. So the other things we'll talk about is Memorial Day celebration, July 4th, boat show, maritime festival. We have expanded concerts coming Thursdays. Uh, we'll be running from June 4th to August 20th. Music and dance series, Battle of the Bands, acoustic sunsets, open mic, uh, other additional programs, uh, film and movie nights, wine and paint programs, kid and adult fitness, history tours, bike rentals, new site additions, public art, interactive, nautical theme, year-round market stalls, urban farming. I mean, we just keep building year after year. It gets better and better. And continued events that we love, the spirit of Buffalo, history tours, kayak rentals, water bike rentals, more and more. Concerts will be announced the last week of April and formal details. And the events and program, Kremlin will be announced the first week of May. It's going to be another spectacular summer at Canal Side and our city's waterfront. In closing, we're thrilled with the re remarkable winter season. Um, the uh, notoriety in the local and national media has been phenomenal. We are now having um, several spring and summer activities lined up. We hope to carry our winter momentum forward to make the 2015 spring summer the best ever. We also look forward to Canal Side larger footprint. We basically are adding 40% more real estate by activating the water-filled historically aligned canals and the site activation of the South Odd Block. Thank you. Any questions or comments? Mr. Mayor. Yeah, just uh, uh, three comments. Um, first, I want to commend uh, Tom and the staff on your work. Uh, I think it was a very successful winter season at Canal Side. 
And I think one of the byproducts of the success at Canal Side was the success we experienced at Martin Luther King Jr. Park and the ice skating there at the park. Uh, because there were so many skaters that were coming to Canal Side, when they found lines, because it was so popular at Canal Side, they made the choice of coming over to Martin Luther King Park. Great to have a choice. Yeah, it's great to have a choice, which also uh, had its most successful season ever, uh, and a significant increase in skaters, some of them clearly telling us that they came from Canal side to Martin Luther King Park. So on behalf of the city, uh, the Olmstead Parks Conservancy, and Blue Cross Blue Shield, we just want to uh, recognize your efforts and thank you for the uh, critical mass you created <laughs> and the spillover to uh, Martin Luther King Park as well. Uh, sec secondly, I want to uh, commend you on the increased efforts at community outreach I know that this board and uh, the staff uh, significantly enhanced community outreach efforts, I think which is greatly appreciated by the members of the community. I also want to uh, thank you for increasing uh, the diversity outreach efforts, uh, and I think bringing on Jennifer Parker uh, to assist with that is certainly paying dividends and making sure uh, that the minority community is aware and involved in everything that's happening at, a, at Canal Side as well. So I want to commend you for that. Uh, and, and third, Tom mentioned uh, the notoriety that we are getting across the country. I want to thank you for facilitating a tour for a business group from Cleveland, which is taking place today. Uh, that want to try to model some of the things that are happening here at Canal Side in the city of Cleveland. So uh, a lot of good news, a lot of good work on behalf of the board and staff, and I just wanted to recognize that. Thank well, thank you. you. I, think, I, I, I think what I know what we've learned as a community is that we really do enjoy the outdoors, and we can do it 12 months out of the year, and I think the recent experience with ice and canal side only proves that, and that's why we are going to be a year-round destination, and the, the momentum will continue. So thank you for your comment. Uh, if there's no other further business, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. <laughs> Second. Second. We're adjourned. Thank you. Thank no, you. Right on. No,